Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 18th of 2023 well, it is titled MACS 0647 Gravitational Lensing of the Early Universe by Webb. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we do see a cluster of galaxies centered in this image. And we also see a number of foreground stars that are part of our own galaxy with their distinctive diffraction spikes going through them. However, if we ignore those stars, pretty much everything else we see in here is a galaxy and galaxies at widely varying distances. So the cluster is much closer to us and that many of the other small galaxies can be much further away. And what's being highlighted is three galaxies and we see them numbered on the larger image to the left as one, two and three. And then we can see them in more detail on the inset images to the right. And these are very distant galaxies. In fact, going back to the very early history of the universe, only a couple hundred million years after the Big Bang that created the universe in the first place. So these are some of the very earliest galaxies. Now these are actually images of the same galaxy. So all three of these are identical galaxies that are gravitationally lensed by this foreground cluster. Under general relativity, gravity is a bending of space and time. And when light has to travel through this distorted space, it then can get bent and we can get multiple images of distant objects when lensed by a foreground object. And this gives us a view into the early universe. And in some cases, things we might not be able to see that could be hidden. The original image could be hidden by the galaxy itself. But we can see those images of it. And this gives us the chance to study the very early universe and to see far more detail than was ever visible by for, by before. Now, for example, this has actually been imaged and was discovered by the Hubble Space Telescope. However, when we look at that, it's just a blob, just a single blob. And now with the James Webb Telescope, we're able to distinguish it into two or maybe more galaxies. So this is actually a perhaps a, a pair of galaxies or a small galaxy cluster that is being lensed. So we're getting a chance to look backward and understand more about how those very early galaxies formed and what they were like. As we know, they are far different than the larger galaxies that we see today. The very earliest galaxies were much smaller than the galaxies we see today and have grown over time through mergers and collisions as galaxies uh, continue to cannibalize each other and grow into much larger galaxies. So when we look nearby, we see galaxies in the relatively recent past within the last hundred million years or so are much, much larger, larger spiral and elliptical galaxies. But when we look back and see things as they were just after the Big Bang, then we see quite different things about these galaxies. And these image images like this one from the James Webb Space Telescope will help us to better understand that early point in our universe. So that was our picture of the day for January 18th of 2023. It was titled MACS 0647 Gravitational Lensing of the Early Universe by Webb. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.